Hey everybody, Brett from Sardis Gaming here, back with another episode of our Total War Attila Western Roman Empire campaign. So, uh, last episode, General Titus Polo over here uh, won a pretty decisive victory against the Saxons. Uh, not only did he crush their entire army, but he also killed their king. And so I don't think we'll be hearing from them anytime soon. Uh, however, his job is not done. Um, although he is out of action points for this turn, he is going to need to hightail it uh, north here northwest to deal with this army of uh, Utes that is uh, bearing down on some of our settlements. So uh, gonna need to get him over there shortly. Uh, unfortunately he can only recruit more spearmen and there are no mercenaries present. So uh, he's just gonna have to kind of make do with what he's got. He will cross the border into this province uh, fairly shortly. You know next turn he'll be in there so Maybe he'll be able to recruit something different in here, or if he has to go further west, maybe in here. Uh, you know, fingers crossed, but otherwise he's just going to have to make do with this army composition, with, which is uh, not my favorite, but this is all we were able to come up with on short notice. Um, the Emperor is out of action points, so he's just going to have to kind of hang out for now. But he's going to go after this group of uh, rebels on the next turn, and then... Uh, Bacchus's army right here is still ready to go. Um, we're going to send them after these rebels, but it looks like uh, he can do a little bit of recruiting here. So before we uh, send him in, let's spend a little bit of this treasury that we have left. Uh, I kind of want the archers. They're actually really, really cheap upkeep, so I may as well. Can't really go wrong on that. And then, um, any other mercenaries? No, no mercenaries present. Um, can't really recruit anything here either. So that's going to have to be it. I guess we'll send him in here. I don't know that I'm going to assault it right away, though. Let's see. Oh, their garrison's like nothing. Okay, well, um, let's work on maybe a battering ram and some ladders. And we'll see how that affects the uh, auto-resolve next turn. I don't like fighting walled sieges. Uh... If I can help it because the arrow towers tend to do a lot more damage when you're actually controlling the army while, uh, rather than just auto resolving um, so with you you still got full action points let's get you out of force march and uh, I might move you in here you know what it really doesn't matter because if they attack anything I'll be able to beat it with the garrison so I'm just going to keep you right there for now. Let's put you in uh, Fortify. <clears throat> and that should be a decent spot for them. I'm, I'm assuming that this group is either going to come after us or after the Quadians. Although I'm not really in any position to help them, am I? Maybe I should go in there and back them up. I'll go like here. I should be able to uh, reinforce from there, and then we'll fortify. So hopefully, that's a good position. Uh, if they want to attack me, they either have to cut through here or go this way. And so at least I've kind of blocked one of them off. And I thought we had another legion over here, do we not? No, apparently this is all wide open. Um, they must all be committed down here. Okay. Well... Let's uh, see about spending the rest of this money, and then we'll end this turn. I'm actually considering... We need a navy, but we need it up here. If we're going to be attacked by enemy ships, it'll be up here. And uh, if anybody comes to invade Britain, it will be, you know, from probably in this area by boat. So if I have a small navy here of maybe, like... I like ram ships, especially against enemy transports. And so maybe just a small navy of those would be enough. Uh, either way, building any sort of military force here is going to help that public order. So I think that's a good idea. So Camilo Dunham, we're going to build you guys a little navy here. So let's see. Your landowner, I don't want to hire you. Let's see. Marksman may not be such a bad idea. Does that count for missile units in boats as well? I don't know. Let's see, these guys are political animals, and this guy's a relentless attacker. Hmm, that might not be such a bad idea. 
Yeah, okay. Raise a fleet. And let's recruit you a couple of units. Um, artillery. Those are good, but they're expensive. And uh, I'm just going to take these really, really cheap ram ships. <clears throat> and then let's make sure... Are you actually in... You're not in there right now. I need I need them to be garrisoned there. Let's see. Your thing isn't damaged, right? Maybe I just have to wait until next turn. On land, though, you don't. Yes. On land, you can move them into a city. Oh, it's probably this. There we Going go. Apart. Now I can recruit them. Assembling the fleet. Okay. And that should fix their public order? Uh, maybe not. They should get military presence, though. Uh, either way... That's the end of that. That's the end of my money. Um, so that's the end of our turn. And in the next turn, we're going to you know, maneuver around a bit. These guys are going to have to try to chase them down. Uh, we'll keep working on that navy. This uh, priest is going to start making the Franks into Christians. And uh, we'll resolve all this stuff down here in Illyria. Oh, we have an unsigned skill. Let's handle that real quick. Um, let's see. Vindonius... Opsius Crassus. Uh, I don't recall who you are. I'm kind of blanking. If you are a governor, it would be a good idea to... You are a governor. Okay, then take that and that. And that's not going to help you. That might. Yeah, take that. And let's see. You don't need morale. Public order wouldn't hurt, though. Huh. Wealth from immigration. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, so the Utes have attacked Duro Cortorum, and we're going to do our best to... If we can't beat them, we're going to at least try to wound them here. I, I don't think we'll be able to defeat them. They just outnumber us by too much. But there's no reason why we shouldn't at least try to kill a few of their units before they sack this place. So I'm going to quick save, and then we're going to all right, so the plan here is to uh, basically That's hold this little corner of the fort here. Um, I'm hoping that the watchtower right here can provide us with some pretty nice missile support. Um, the cavalry, as always, is going to sort of just be at large, picking off archers wherever we can. Um, but yeah, we're basically just going to hold these two small corridors. Uh, we can't be flanked, so they have to come you know, straight at us. We'll make sure everybody is in uh, defensive formations. And uh, it's just a matter of how long we can hold. Let's get you guys uh, some fire arrows. That would be a little bit more effective, I think. All right, cavalry, get on over there. Nothing remains of that tower <clears throat> now. That's fine. Uh, keep moving that way. Oh boy, we just took a bunch of arrows right there. But that's fine. Keep keep targeting me while everybody that's supposed to be guarding you is running past, or maybe not. Right, well, we're not under attack yet. Let's get over here. I might be able to get those guys. There is cavalry over there, though. You know what? No, we're not going to be able to get them. Let's see. Come this way. They're making a pretty boneheaded move there. So let's get in over here. And they're going to fire at my guys, but that's okay because we're going to catch them. Hopefully kill them before anybody comes to bail them out. Almost there. There we go. Okay, time to get out. <clears throat> time to go. The enemy is at the walls. They're engaging us. Uh, we should be able to win that. You guys might want to get away from that fire. Uh, that's unfortunate positioning there. These guys are going to be really difficult to get to. But what can you do? General is under attack. What are you shooting at? I have no idea what you guys are targeting right now. Hmm. If I could get those pikes out in the open, that would be useful too. But I've got to flank them. Hang on here, hang on. What the hell are you targeting? Uh, shoot them. Don't move, though. Don't move too far. There we go. That's what I want to see. Okay, we 
do have some skirmishers over here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to isolate them either. In fact, you guys just hang out right here. <clears throat> uh, looks like we are taking some losses. Are you really losing to Nordic levies? That's kind of ridiculous. Losing decisively. How is that... How does that even make sense? Get out of... Get out of Testudo and just fight them. There we go. That was the issue. I think it was. <clears throat> yeah. I, I assume it was because they're in Testudo. That's good to know. So they're pretty terrible fighters in Testudo. Yeah. Okay. Well... That's unfortunately I learned that lesson a little bit too late. They took more losses than they should have. So they're gonna break. Um, I could actually press forward with these guys. It might not be such a bad idea because I have cover up to here, so I can't be flanked no matter how far up this I go as long as I stop there. Enemy Enemies are rallying the spears. I don't know if it'll matter. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere. That's my biggest concern, that they're going to start pursuing. But we're doing pretty well, I think. We've already destroyed one of their archer units. Uh, this one could go, especially if they decide to send them out. <clears throat> if we can do enough damage to where they start to maybe flee out of the way, I can pick them off with the cavalry. Meanwhile, uh, my watchtower is just slinging arrows over in this general direction. Probably light my buildings on fire. Uh, we're going to run out of ammo before we do enough damage. Yeah, it's not enough. Interesting. So they're going to start firing back. You guys are still in Testudo, right? Yeah. Let's get you guys back in there as well. I'll, I'll be sure to take that off before we start fighting them. Yeah, so if they want to target my infantry... By all means, because they're not going to do anything. These guys, I mean, they're pretty much dead already. They're out of ammo, so. Let's get over here. Let's see what this is all about. Might be able to kill some uh, cheapy units here. I mean, that's pretty much going to resolve itself. I don't really need to worry about it. <clears throat> Let's see. Get in there, do some damage, and then get out. Time to go, time to go. Yeah, we took too much damage there. That was a waste. Our men are wavering. Who's wavering? You guys? Mm, yeah, you're shaking. Yeah, that was a mistake. Our settlement has suffered much from the enemy. I don't even think the enemy did that. I think that was you guys with your fire arrows. Um, get over here. And we might just have to wait this one out. <clears throat> Well, we're going to lose. I mean, I think that was a foregone conclusion. But I did catch one of their other archer units. So we're going to try to kill them if we can. Uh, we didn't quite pull it off there. And that's the end of that. All right. So unfortunately, they're either going to sack or occupy this place. But I think we did pretty well. Um, we basically killed two or three for every one of theirs. Or for one of ours that was killed. Um, I think it was like 270 that we actually lost from the battle. Um, let's see. These guys, uh, you didn't do very well. Archers don't tend to get kills, though. Uh, slingers get kills. Archers, not so much. Uh, scout, uh, cavalry, 165. That's respectable. 102 for the Legio. And only 36 for the Spears. That's kind of weak. Um, I don't think their archers did anything. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully that unit gets completely destroyed. But uh, we killed basically 700, of the, so like a third of their army. That's, I mean, that's respectable. Okay, so apparently they sacked the city or the village. That's fine. Uh, we get some more disease. We need to start worrying about our... Uh, God, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, we need to start worrying about our... What do you call it? I, I'm, I'm blanking on the word right now, like our sanit uh, sanitation, there we go. Okay, so where did they run off to? Oh, we have a rebellion here. They're still there. I might have to detour, though, to take care of you guys. 
So that's doable. They will probably flee though, and we won't be able to run them down. Is there any mercenaries here? No. I can almost get there, but then I have to ignore these guys. Um, let's take a quick look at our provinces. We still have a few places where the public order is diminishing, so I need to handle that. Um, I need like some sort of troop building here, probably a rally field, but that's going to have to wait. I think between this, because that should give me four. So between that and maybe this, no, that's still not going to be enough. Hmm, it'll slow it down though. So let's start building the Latin church there. And then who else is still going down? Carthage. Oh, not Carthage. Uh, how are you guys doing? Minus three. That will be enough to offset that. Yeah, three to seven. And that's cheaper than this is. So we'll do the auditorium there. And that will take care of their public order. Over here. Uh, minus two. I don't have enough money to take care of it. But that would have done it. Hmm. Well, that's problematic. And then you guys. Between those two, that should be enough. That actually reminds me though. Do they have anything else being built? No. And you guys didn't either. Okay, well... We'll have to take care of them next turn. Uh, you guys are headed down. For what reason? Religious differences, disease. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we need some sanitation buildings. So, where are we going to put them, I guess is the question. No, don't do that. Um, I guess I could build it there. I can put it in this spot. I guess I should see where where disease is the worst. Um, public order is minus two. It's probably all the same. Yeah. So let's see here. I, I could build it here as well. Although I'm kind of tempted to save save that surplus and work on upgrading Rome some more. So let's go back to here. And I suppose I will do it in Regium. Although I could do it in Syracuse. Hmm. Let's do it right here. Okay, so we want fountains. And that will help with the sanitation. I can't build those everywhere, unfortunately. Actually, how much did, how much did that cost? Uh, I can build one more, actually. Okay. Uh, the question becomes where? So there's a lot of places that could use it. Uh, you guys aren't really ready for it. Let's see. I could build one there. Um, Neapolis, I guess I could build one here as well. But I, I do want to save up for that. Liguria. Hmm. No, they're so close. I don't want to waste it. Uh, well, I guess you guys could build one. So let's do that. No, let's not do that. You want to build them where you have ports because it's it's cheaper to upgrade to the fourth slot if there's a port present. Like here, for example, it's seven, whereas uh, if there's a port, it's only four for that one because you got you have less slots with the port factored in. Um. Right, so we'll build it here. Okay, so that's basically all of my money. Um, now you guys are probably going to deal with the... I don't know. I think I should probably deal with the rebels before they get out of hand. Because they, they basically build up their army every turn. So you want to kill them quick. And they will flee, so it's going to take me a while to catch them. These guys are going to continue sacking villages. But that's not that big a deal. Um, they're basically just going to take more and more casualties as they go along. Till the point where they can't sustain their army anymore. So, I might just beat them through attrition. If they keep deciding to attack my stuff. 
As long as they don't capture anything. Like, as long as they sack it and not occupy it, I'm cool with that. So let's have you go here first. And they're gonna flee. Uh, looks like we can pursue. Good. And we'll just auto-resolve that. Okay, so there go those rebels. And that will, uh... That'll keep these people happy for at least a little bit longer, because it'll be... Oh, it's actually only plus eight. That's not going to stay for very long. That military crackdown is like the only thing holding this place together. Uh, Titus leveled up again. Awesome. Let's see. We need to find him a wife. Sentinel melee defense is never bad. Public order is not really going to help me. I might go with this. Yeah, do that. <clears throat> and then start heading in that general direction. Uh, ooh, cavalry. Yeah, give me some of that warband. Okay, good. <clears throat> and that's pretty much all I can afford there, but we did get him some more cavalry, which is what we wanted. Um, I am completely broke at this point. Let's have the Emperor go deal with these guys who are probably going to flee. But we have to deal with them. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, get as close as you can. Looks like we can levy more units, but we can't afford anything. Uh, how is this siege going? Pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and auto-resolve this right now. The auto-resolve is going to do a lot better than I would, casualty-wise, so I think it'll be okay. But yeah, let's go ahead and sort that out. We'll do a balanced stance and see how it goes. And so we're going to occupy this. Uh, basically, as the Eastern Roman Empire gives up territory, I'm going to slowly take it. Uh, we didn't lose any units. So that's good. And we lost 400 men total. Uh, yeah, I probably would have done worse than that. Sieges are sieges on walled cities are difficult. Let's just occupy it. 2,000 is tempting, but I don't want to make this harder to deal with than I have to. Especially since I already have other territories here. Uh, it looks like the Legion leveled up. Their integrity is already pretty high, so I think what we want to do is maybe get after some Eastern Empire there. And maybe this as well, because we do have a lot of foreign levies and mercenaries and whatnot. Okay. There is some stuff that we can hire, but we are too broke. Germanic Warband. Uh, those guys are actually decent. I, I'll consider that when I have money. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this turn and this episode. Um, what the hell happened there? Did you guys really abandon? Oh, god damn it. Okay. Um... So the Quadians scorched their village and decided to go nomadic. They are still, it looks like, my ally? We should probably take a look at some of this stuff, too. Uh, oh, we need to deal with the Franks before I end this episode. Gotta remember that. So Quadians, uh, you hate me, but you are my military allies. Um... Can I offer you land? No, I don't want to do that. So this land is all torched here. Um, right, well... You guys are going to get out of here. Go ahead and move back to there. And I'll put you in fortify. Should allow you to yeah, reinforce that if need be. Uh, but there goes our buffer state. I guess we're just gonna have a buffer of like no man's land. Anywho, um, oh, what can you recruit? Oh, from the Quadians? I thought they would have different units than that. Okay, so I need you. What do you wish of me? Over here. Setting forth. And then. Do no, don't discourage the populace. I need you converting people. 
Maybe if you just stand there. I think it's passive. Let's see. Spread religion. Constant local effect. Okay, good. I think we can make it stronger, though. Yeah. I'm curious, though. Can we see what their religion is? I mean, we can see what it is. Can we see, like, if we're making any progress? I don't know. <clears throat> but we'll just kind of leave him there and see what happens. We're going to try to turn them against the Saxons, though. We're also trying to make ally out of them. Let's see. Defense? No. Hmm. I don't think they'd become a tributary state. But yeah, the goal is to basically make them a buffer state, make them stronger to deal with all these other uh, Germanic factions. The Almans, I'm still working on. They don't seem to want to come around, though. But they haven't attacked me yet, so who knows. Uh, let's see. Improving, but not great. They're, I really wish they would come around because we really need the resources that they have. So a trade agreement would be perfect, and then they're in a territory that I don't really want to have to occupy. So if I could basically just trade with them and have them be like a defensive ally, or even just like on decent terms to where I don't have to worry about them attacking me, that would be perfect. But uh, they're they're being difficult. Um, the Dacians, we're gonna have to conquer them eventually. The Danes aren't at war with me, Welcome. and I'm really trying to keep it that way. But they are sort of the same thing here. They don't really want to work with us. Um, how's that going? Deteriorating, great. So uh, I'll probably take a look through this uh, between episodes, and we'll come back and figure out what to do about the uh, the Utes on our coast here and um, how to sort out the, the public order mess that is uh, this area right now. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Total War Attila with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.